The release of 23 albums of Printer's work onto streaming sites was accompanied by a new album anthology comprising 37 tracks spanning the 1995 to 2010 era. Now, of course, that's not quite technically true, as a few tracks such as Crucial, Dream Factory and Endorphin Machine, for example, date to before this time span, but are included using the date of their official releases. The anthology itself is essentially presented as a taster selection, a bite-sized sample designed for new fans unaware of the great work Prince created during this time, or for those who lost touch with all things Prince in the post-1995 era. It is not really an album as such, as there have been no announced plans for a physical release, but more of a selected playlist. To what extent this anthology achieves its goal of inducing listeners to take a deeper dive into Printer's unparalleled back catalogue is, of course, a personal decision. The anthology does not follow any particular obvious track order with no chronological rule to the tracks. Instrumentals are placed in amongst vocal tracks and live tracks are also slotted into the mix. This may well be a deliberate ploy to assume nothing about the listener and to give a little taste of the many different genres and types of track Prince has to offer, from the funk jams such as Old School Company and Black Sweat, through blistering ballads such as I Hate You and tearjerkers such as I Love You But I Don't Trust You Anymore, and the underappreciated tracks such as Strays of the World and When I Lay My Hands on You. The inclusion of the 14 minute West from News, the beautiful You Make My Sunshine and Empty Room Live certainly give a flavour of the gems that Prince has to offer. However, a number of fans have felt that perhaps this collection, even though it contains 37 songs, still doesn't really do Prince justice. It is of course impossible to slake everyone's Prince desires and if you ask 100 Prince fans what their playlist would contain, you'd receive at least 100 different answers possibly more from those who couldn't limit themselves to just 37 songs. This has led to a number of people creating their own Prince 1995 to 2010 playlists on Spotify and other sites. There were some great ones out there from uh, Sheila Ree and others. There was also even the complete collection playlist on Spotify, which covers 1978 to 2014. But this might be a little daunting for some at a solid 510 songs. The real joy I have found in creating these playlists is that it gives you an excuse not that one is needed, to roll around in Prince's overlooked eras and visit the Slaughterhouse, the Chocolate Invasion, 2010 and Planet Earth and discover or rediscover some forgotten joys. So I would simply ask you this, if you were asked to create a playlist of 37 tracks just like the anthology contains of Prince's work from 1995 to 2010 in an attempt to excite listeners seeking out Prince's work, what would yours contain? Would you theme the collection chronologically or by types of tracks such as ballads, instrumentals, etc.? Or would you pick the less heard tracks or push the hits and crowd pleasers? Are there certain albums that you feel should get greater prominence? Have you actually made a post-1995 Prince playlist already? As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts below the line. Thank you.